like no joke no word of a lie I was half an hour late to my interview how did I get in how 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 am I here I don't know guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing a sit down chit chat story time I don't know what to call this it's just a talking video <laughs> I had lots of DMs on my Instagram and my snapchat how do I become cabin crew but loads of people are asking this one is about how I became cabin crew as you've probably read in the title number one step on how to become cabin crew guys number one apply <laughs> seems like the obvious but it's not because a lot of people will literally have like a 30 minute conversation with me about becoming cabin crew and I'll be like oh okay so where have you applied they haven't so babes how do you expect to get an interview you need to apply go online apply beforehand know what kind of airline you want to work for so do you want to do short haul flights or do you want to do long haul flights or do you want to do a mixture of the two research about the airline so you're sure what you're getting yourself into number two prepare for your interview um funny story my interview was a shambles oh it was actually so i don't understand how i'm here i won't lie to you guys i sometimes it confuses me how i got the job number one rookie mistake here when you go for an interview, what is the number one thing that you do? You're early, you're on time, you know, at least. They say get there maybe like half an hour early. I was half an hour late. Like, no joke. No word of a lie. I was half an hour late to my interview. How did I get in? How? How? How am I here? I don't know. <sighs> I actually don't know. <laughs> like, I actually don't, I can't tell you how. 30 minutes late, I feel like any normal person and you, you'll soon learn I'm not a normal girl any normal person you kind of you take the L don't you at the time you're like this is a joke I am a joke my life is a joke let me go home you know no 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 I said mm, I'm gonna take my chance I was like what's the worst that could happen you know what it was it was a really really early start I think my interview was at like 7 a.m which means I had to be up at 3 a.m I got up on time, I did my makeup, I had my outfit ready, ended up on the wrong train, which like just messed me up. I literally, I didn't know what to do, I started panicking. So I called my sister and I asked her to book me an Uber so that when I get off the train, I was supposed to take like a bus to the headquarters. So I wanted to take an Uber instead because it would be quicker. She booked this Uber for me. Get off the train because I gave myself I think I gave myself half an hour in case anything happens at this point if I get in this uber I will be on time I didn't want that because you start panicking like oh I've got two minutes to get there la 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 so at this point I wasn't going to be late but it was okay the uber drive called him up and I was like you're not here he was like I'm at the car park there's no car park where I am where are you this guy's not there I am literally stood there like what do I do See, it's in Heathrow I am not from Heathrow. I had no idea what bus I was supposed to get. Nothing. I was just stood there thinking like, oh, what am I supposed to do? I'm going to be late. I've only got 20 minutes to get there. Like, it's not even real. I've missed the bus because they have a staff bus that takes you there, but I'd missed it. Googled the local cab station. I called them. Wait, this minute wait. I'm just like, what is going on? This is not happening to me. I don't understand. So I literally, I'm like this close to tears. I didn't know what to do. Arcs someone at the train station and he said to me you know what your best bet is just to wait for the next staff bus which is going to come like in the next 10 minutes or 15 minutes or something so if i get on that staff bus i'm definitely late the bus was coming at the time i was supposed to be there so i thought you know what i'm just going to chance to get on it i tried to call in another thing as well i tried to call them and say i'm going to be late i couldn't get through to anyone anyone will give up at this point but i said i'm not giving up i woke up at 3 a.m i want this job i'm going i don't care if they tell me no then at least they tell me no they have to tell me no to my face <laughs> i wasn't having it i was like no nah, i'm going i don't care so got on the staff bus 
sat on it my heart is beating it's racing i'm looking at the time i'm just like i'm literally just evaluating my life you know i just feel like a failure at everything at this point i'm just like what is even the point but i just thought let me just go so i got there all flustered get to the desk and then i said to the lady hi i'm here for my interview she was like what time's your interview um seven it's um 7 28 she's looking at me like really really said to me well to be honest with you i think it's not going to happen today but i'm just going to go in and see what they say i was like please if you would just go in and just see what they say but i completely understand if they don't she went in and i'm thinking oh, like really like why would you do this who does this did you really want this what what have you done to yourself that's how i'm feeling right now i'm shouting at myself inside but obviously i'm just doing the whole she comes back out and she was like do you have your passport with you i was like yeah i've got everything that they've asked me i've got all my paperwork i've got everything I'm like you know trying to act like i'm organized you're clearly not organized babes you're half an hour late but you know you've got to try and reel it back in so i'll be in a really good mood today because they said you can come through so the point that i was making is that be prepared for your interview oh, half an hour even before the interview just so that your mind is right because i feel like my mind was obviously not right because i got on the wrong train who does that if i had woken up and had like a, a cup of tea and you know i don't even drink tea to be honest but i drank some juice and um i had a breakfast then i probably wouldn't have been in that situation but no i'd say also be yourself you know um another thing i'll make reference to is my interview they asked the most basic question any employer or any potential employer will ask you and it asked me it says hi Ron, tell us what you know about british airways my mind went blank but it was a joke i sat there and i did not know what to say i said can i please have a glass of water I still don't remember anything at this point i think i was so gutted i just thought you know what all of this she was even half an hour late they gave you a chance and this is how you're gonna end it is this how you're gonna lose this job silly 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 girl I just was honest with them I, this is why i say be yourself because i honestly feel like yeah they have questions that they're asking you but they're not looking for a textbook answer they're looking for you they're looking at you they just want the best candidate for the job if you pretend to be anything else and think you're doing yourself any favors just because your personality might not be suited with this job but because you pretended to be someone else you've got into it and in the end like you're not even going to be happy in it i honestly feel like this is one of those jobs where you genuinely have to have the right personality for it otherwise it's just not going to work for you just do you do you babes like don't talk too much don't feel like they want someone to talk too much listen talk when it's appropriate you know give valid import and let your personality shine through be yourself honestly because what they say everybody else is taken made it that far which means you're good enough they sieved you out from everyone else that applied time to shine so shine baby shine bright like a diamond shine bright like a diamond yeah shine guys do your thing it's just it's a really good opportunity so you wouldn't give it your everything just don't do what i did don't be late don't not know how to answer questions if you guys have any more questions to ask me about interviews and stuff drop them down below i wanted to do this whole thing but then my hand got caught because this is happening let me know if you have any video suggestions that you'd like me to do drop your questions down below i'll be more than happy to answer them thank you guys so much for watching you know even like every view i get i get happy because it means that someone's taking time out of their day to watch me so thank you so much just one thing i forgot to say please like comment and subscribe see you next time